Now we've got all the elements, we can get started with putting them together. We're going to start with the head and the body first. First of all, we're going to weave in the end. Now the body remains open like this. And what we can do is we want to position it on the head and you can use pins to hold it in place. Use long pins if you can. Now I find this tricky, <laughs> pin in from the body hopefully into the head. Some people find it easier with pins, I tend to just hold it in place. So we're going to be fixing the top of the body to the bottom of the head. I'm going to do that with an over stitch. I'm going to pick up a stitch in the head and a stitch of the last round of the body and then just come over like that. Then I go into a stitch on the body and come up in the next stitch on and I'm just going to work all the way around doing this over stitch which means I've come out of the body I'm coming over and going into the head pick up the next stitch on the body going over and because it's stuffed you can just maneuver it around and squish it down to where you need it on this last one I'm making a loop I'm going to bring my thread round and back through the hole again which will give it a little knot and then go ahead and weave my end in to hide it. I'm just going to weave it through a few of the stitches in one direction, down a row, weave it back through a few of those stitches. And then this is the bit that I like the best. We're going to hide the tail inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the needle all the way through to the other side. I'm going to give it a tug and then trim it off as close to the body and then let go and then that's all hidden inside and it's not going to come undone. Then we've got our snout. First of all I'm going to weave this end in. Now I want where I fastened off I'm going to want that low, low down. So using the, the pictures on the box as a guide we're going to want the snout, snout about here and we don't want it flat we do want it puffed up because we are going to stuff it. So I'm actually going to use some pins to hold that in place and what I'll do is I'll actually stuff it as we go. So as I come round to about here and we've still got a bit of a gap that's when I'm going to stuff it. So we're going to sew the snout on. We're going to use an over stitch again. So I'm going to pick up a stitch in the head and I'm going to use the back loop of the snout. So that's the loop that's nearest the head. Be careful not to wrap it around the pins. Okay, we've got a nice gap there for putting the stuffing in. It shouldn't need much. And then we go ahead and close off those last few stitches. And then we're going to make a loop, pass your needle through the loop, close it, just give it a knot. And then we're going to weave this tail in. So I'm going to pass it through that row of double crochet there. I'm going to come down a row and then pass it back the other way. Okay, and like we did with the body, insert the needle in, pass it up, bring the needle through, tug it tight, trim it off, and then smooth it back out. Grab yourself a length of black. We're going to embroider the nose, the eyes, and the whiskers. So, to make a knot, what I'm going to do is I have a slip knot in one end of my black thread. I'm going to work out where I want to start my nose, which I think is about here. I'm going to pass my needle through. I've even left myself enough of a tail by the slip knot to be able to weave that in later. I'm going to pass my needle through the slip knot, and that brings that really tight. And I've actually joined, like a slip stitch, joined the thread on. I'll weave this in when I've finished embroidering the nose. So I'm going to embroider the nose in just long stitches I can see where I've missed gap there so I'm just going to pass the needle up there to 
fill in that gap as well. When you're happy with the nose, we're going to put in a small piece, straight stitch down there. But to do that first, I'm going to bring the needle up there. I'm actually going to pass it down through the stitches of the nose and then I'm going to do a couple of stitches. So I'm going to bring it down to just past where the knot is on the nose. Now we've got some uh, whiskers to do so using the same length of thread and we've got three whiskers to put in work out roughly where you want them to start again use the box as a guide this is just how I've decided to make mine so the whiskers start at the snout and then join onto the body and there's three of them on each side there's one this one will make number two work out where to put them on the opposite side so I'm going to pass the needle roughly the right place okay and the third whisker is going to go there and then because I've still got enough thread I'm going to use the same piece of thread to put in the eyes so when I Put the needle down for this whisker i'm going to come up about there so roughly here this is where i'm going to start the eyes okay so that's one eye i'm going to come up about there start to get a little bit of character going now And then I'm going to bring my needle back towards the nose because I'm going to hide the knot under the nose stitches. So when you're happy with your eyes, you can then fasten off. Same as before, make a loop, pass your needle through the loop and I'm actually going to hide the black thread inside the snout it tight, trim close. We can uh, tidy up the shape of the mouth in a minute. Now we need to weave this end in. I'm going to do that in much the same way and I'm going to use this part of the nose. So I've made the knot. My needle's longer than the end of the thread so have to re-thread it and I'm going to pass that through that's the facial features on so I've got this marker here I think that's roughly where the ears are going to go so I've got one this side and then I'll just position the other one that side the ears fold them flat and position them on the side of the head again using a pin to hold them in place if if that's your preferred way of doing things so you can using a long pin hold it in place as you sew I like to go through both sides of the ear while I'm joining like this and I make sure I go into the head and then through the ear into the head and I work my way along the ear that like that with it just fasten it off
now we're on to the arms and the arms are actually um, stitched flat so I'm going to stitch the arm closed first so that will just make it easier when sewing it on the body so I'm going to line it up roughly with the ear and towards the back Okay, so once you've got your arm positioned where you want it, I'm going to pick up a stitch on the arm, no, on the body. Uh, again, I'm going to do an over stitch. I'm going through both, all of the arm, and then back into the body again. Right, when we get to the end, I'm going to go the knot to come back out there again. I like to come back along the inside of the arm as well. The last thing you want is for your arms to be falling off. So same again, through the body, through the arm. And back to the top. And you can come back through this side. Then I'm going to make my knot. I'm going to run my thread through the stitches through the other side. So I'll hide my thread inside the arm. And then go and repeat the same process with the second arm. Right, the legs. Okay, same principle as the arms. Looking at the uh, images on the box, it would appear that the legs are also sewn flat. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, sew those flat. So if you look at the box, we know they're sewn flat, but they're not sewn at the front of the body like this, because that would make his legs too long. So we're gonna position them towards the back of his underside. like so I'm just going through both layers to begin with just to hold it in place so I can sit him up again and to me that looks like a much better distance so I can now turn him over again and now I'm going to use that over stitch that I've used everywhere else I do because his leg comes away from the body there what you can do is we can pass the needle to about here and come through the body and through the leg Hold that a little bit flatter. Move your thread in. And repeat for the other leg. Oh, we've got a tail for balance. Okay, I'm not going to flatten the tail. So I want to use the tail as a means of balance. I'm going to position it roughly in the middle and use the over stitch again. So I pick up a bit of the back and then the next stitch on the tail. There's his tail and the final step will be to sew on the heart to his hands. So I'm going to join the thread like I did with the black 
I've got myself a, a length of the grey, made a slip knot at one end, so I've joined it with a slip knot, and then I've got a long tail that I can weave in in a minute. And we're just going to use a couple of tacking stitches on the inside of the otter's hand. So to be sure I've put three stitches on that side with the length of thread I'm actually going to pass my needle all the way through to the other side of the heart and then I'm just going to put a couple of tacking stitches on this side I'm going all the way through the heart and then through his hand Feed the needle to the back. Weave it in. And the final step is to weave in the last end. we have finally a few months late our little otter i'll put a link to the pattern pdf which is on the aldi website in the description below for anyone else who had the same problem as me with no pattern in the box i think it's turned out quite well i'm really pleased with him there is a fair amount of yarn left over as you can see and a small amount of stuffing is also left over so all in all the otter kit actually had plenty of yarn to finish looking at it i think you could possibly potentially make two don't hold me to that depends on your tension so one little otter if you've enjoyed the video and you found it useful please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel as well i have got several other audi kits that um, i will be making my way through and if you've thoroughly enjoyed the content that we have been producing why not consider following us over on patreon the link for that will also be below thank you for joining me and see you next time <laughs>